Welcome to the second Sloopcast on interlibrary loans. How do I order journal articles from other libraries? As already mentioned in our first video, you can only order materials through the interlibrary loan system that are not available at the Slup Dresden or at any other publicly accessible library in Dresden. In this video, we will focus on how to order copies of journal articles. If you have not yet seen our first clip on interlibrary loans, we recommend that you watch that one first. It explains the basics of requesting an interlibrary loan using books as an example. We begin the process in the BSZ research portal. First, search for the requested title. Please note that when ordering articles, the system always searches for the source in which the article was published. This is called the superordinate work. The superordinate work shows the title and issue of the journal in which the article is contained. In this case, we use the ISSN for the search, which is a reliable way to find what you are looking for. However, you can of course also enter a title or keywords from the title. In the list of search results, you will see various symbols that signify different types of materials. This is the symbol for the print edition of the journal, which also indicates that this is a superordinate work. As a rule, it is not possible to request a complete journal via an interlibrary loan. Here you should always specify the article you need, which you can then order and keep forever as a copy. This is the symbol for electronic journals. Please note that you cannot order articles from electronic journals or electronic journals in general via the interlibrary loans service. If a journal is available both in print and as an online resource, the following information will usually appear next to this search result. At this point, you can only use the free interlibrary loan form to order. Now let's take a closer look at how to order a copy of a journal article. First, you have to click on the search result or rather the journal that contains the requested article. If it is a search result from the SWB network, you will also receive a reference indicating the holdings at the SLUB under the Libraries tab. This way you can make sure that your requested title is really not available at our library. In the case of search results from other library networks, such as the GBV or the KOBV, you should double check if we have it or not by searching for the journal title in the SLUB catalog. If we don't have the journal at the SLUB, and you now want to order this article, click on the Order via Interlibrary Loan button after logging into your SLUB account. Now the order form opens, in this case the one for ordering copies. Certain fields will be filled in automatically, but you will have to add the details for the article manually. Then select the branch library where you would like to pick up the copies. Confirm private use regulations and submit your order. At this point, we would like to draw your attention to another important symbol that can appear in the list of search results. This symbol designates an individual essay or a journal article. In principle, it is possible to order these essays directly if you find them in this form in the search portal. But the order usually ends up being undeliverable. It is therefore better to order the article via the journal title that is, the superordinate work in which the article was published. To do so, first click on the search result showing the requested article. In this instance, the superordinate work is the journal that we already searched for, Zeitzeichen, Evangelische Kommentare zur Religion und Gesellschaft. This journal therefore contains the article entitled Kunst des Smalltalks. Usually, the superordinate work is linked here so that you can directly click on it. This takes us back to the starting point of our previous example of ordering copies. From here, you can continue the process based on what we showed you last time. In summary, it can be said that it is always better to order an article via the superordinate journal instead of searching for the article itself. 
if you get a search result for the article you are looking for, it is nonetheless better to search for the journal that contains the requested article. And last but not least, here are two tips for you. A search result for an essay or article can still be helpful. If you find a search result for the article you are looking for in the BSZ, you can simply copy over the information you need from it when filling in the order form. There you will find further information, for example the year of publication, the issue number and the volume of the journal in which the article is included, as well as the author, the title and the page number of the article. Here comes our second tip for you. Unfortunately, you cannot use such links for an interlibrary loan order, as they are not part of the catalog entries in the research portal. The same applies again here. Search for the journal title, order it and then add the article details to the form. That is all for now. Thank you for taking an interest and for watching this tutorial. We hope that you found this slipcast helpful and look forward to your feedback.